What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. It's a nice hot day in Sydney and uh, we're going to do a couple of chores. We're going to give the turtles and Loki a water change and we've got a whole bunch of rodents to feed out to all the snakes and all the, all the meat eaters here. So stick around. Hope you enjoy the video. I'm Luke and I'm an avid reptile and amphibian keeper. On my channel you'll see heaps of DIY tutorials, enclosure builds, herping clips and loads more to do with animals. I hope you subscribe for some more animal related content. So there's a little bit of wind here today guys I hope you can bear with me with that but yeah we're gonna start by draining out the turtle tank then followed by Loki's tank. Start filling this one up, start filling Loki's one up but while this is all going on, I've already started defrosting a whole bunch of rodents and birds. If you are a little bit squeamish, this video is going to have some feeding of, you know, carnivorous animals. So might not be the one for you. Uh, but until then, we're going to get stuck in and get these guys cleaned up. So I thought I'd take this as an opportunity to check on the turtles and see how their little faces are doing after the last couple of videos where there was a few little nicks on, the, on a couple of them. Safe to say that this little dude's looking a lot better. He's almost 100% healed. There's a little tiny patch on top of his head. But this little long neck's looking fantastic. I've already just checked over one of the sauries and they look pretty good. I'll have a look at the other two and see if there's much difference in between them as well. I do love my little turtles. These little long necks can get their heads so tightly packed inside of their shells. I feel bad kind of getting them out. Come on, mate. Whoa. Don't want to hurt ya. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, jeez, he's musked me. That is not a, not a pleasant odour. Obviously I've caused him a little bit of stress, so that's why he's let that go. Ooh, got a little bit of a turtle honk to that. But his little face is looking fantastic as well, as much as he doesn't want to show it to us at the moment. He's got no marks left on his little head whatsoever. Ooh, he's really stinky though, so I'm gonna go and pop him back in the water and we'll check out the last saw shell. Ooh. Okay, so here's the last saw shell. He's still a little bit beat up, but he's not too bad. He's not as bad as what he was, I don't think. I reckon just a little bit of due time. I might leave him out of the pond for now. I'll put him in a crate and just let him dry out a little bit. But uh, I reckon in due time, he's gonna come pretty good for himself. I'm glad that they're on the mend though. That's the main thing. Well, we've done a nice water change now. Just pop the hose back in here. Probably about a two, two thirds water change on it. I'm gonna get this nice and full. I've got to add some prime in quickly before too much of this chlorine, chlorine and the water gets in there. We'll go and start on Loki's enclosure and uh, start siphoning out his funk. Loki's tank's almost drained now. We're gonna go check out the little turtle. Oh, I've got some claw sig. We're gonna give him a bit of a bit of a hit with this. He's just been hanging out in this old fish tank for the time being in the shade. But he's looking nice and dry. And his pond's almost full, so by the time I give him a bit of a treatment, 
let him sit out here for maybe another 20 minutes while I'm doing some other bits and pieces, letting that claw sit, sit into him. He'll, uh, I'll just give the chance, the chance for the medication to actually sit inside his nose. Here he is, my poor little sorry. He's not too bad. All right, I'm gonna put you on the ground, don't run away. He's actually shedding all over the top of his head. So he's, uh, he must be still growing a little bit. Yeah, all right, yeah. He's got some, you can see it there, he's got a whole bunch of loose shed all over the top of his head. So, growing boy. All right. So Clawsig's really safe to use around the eyes and the mouth and everything like that. Just gonna put a few drops all over him. It's good for eye infections and things, so it is actually a human grade um, product for conjunctivitis that you can just get over the counter at the pharmacy. I'll let that run off your nose a little bit, hey. Cool. All right, well, we'll let him sit with that on him and keep going with these chores. Another few minutes and the pond will be done. Check these guys out. The blotchies are awake today, that's for sure. I'm starting to be nibbling a little bit of food. I need to clean their water bowls while I'm out here. It's a little bit funky. Got all of them out. Really love to get some more blotchy babies this season. Hopefully these guys will go. They're a proven trio in here, so not very often in my home. And actually, I don't ever think I've caught them mating personally, but I've produced babies once or twice, so yeah, must be doing something right. Today. Get these water bowls cleaned up. Get them back in there. Keep going. It's almost time to feed some critters. sound was and turns out Loki doesn't like the water hose today and he's decided that he wants to uh, give it a good little good little bite a little bit of a taste test maybe he thinks it's a little little snake or something usually he quite enjoys having the water hose in there and getting in there whilst it's all filling up but for some reason today he's a little bit cranky I actually think it could be to do with the fact that we've got so many tasty smells in the air we've We've got some quails, we've got some chicks, we've got some eggs, and we've also got some rats and mice. So he's going to be smelling all these smells and he's probably very hungry and reckons that for some reason he can eat the hose. You're a silly, silly lizard, mate. Why don't we get you some food and then that way that'll probably keep you a little bit more entertained. All right, so I'm going to save my silly lizard, ruining his good teeth and biting things that he shouldn't be biting by giving him some food, because he's deserved it. And you'll know what these mean. You see the pink tongs? Usually that gets him all excited. I'm gonna try to do this from the fly with one hand. Yeah, get him a little chick here. Come mate. as well, you guys. Here we go. I'll let him enjoy that for the time being. That'll keep him hopefully a little bit entertained whilst this little water area there is still filling up. We might start actually feeding some other animals while we're here. All right, so Atlas has been waiting pretty patiently. I've got a, a medium quail in there for you. I'll grab this out. What do you reckon, mate? Time for lunch? There we go. Well, he should enjoy that. Nice little feed. So next up we got Car, my jungle python. Oh, Loki's there just throwing that little chick back. Well done, mate. All right. We go overhead for her.
Are you broken? Huh. I don't think you drew for a shed. I honestly didn't think that today would be a day that she'd refuse a feed. Because it is very, very warm. And she's nice and warm inside her enclosure. But for some reason she seems to be turning it down right now. I'll give her another go and see if she does want to actually take it. If not, maybe Arrow the big diamond python gets an extra extra wrap today. Still seem interested. See if a sabi wants to have a meal during the day. Sometimes it can be a little bit hit and miss, depending on the day. Especially if it's a little bit earlier, he seems to like like to eat at night. So I don't blame him. They are a bit more of a nocturnal species. So if he doesn't eat now, I might have to come back in a few hours' time and get him to try to eat then. Hey Sonic. Here's Midori. She's usually really easy to feed. Wasabi doesn't want to seem to feed at the moment. That's right, he likes feeding at night time, so we'll just feed Midori for now. Then, I think we'll see who in the snake rack down there wants to eat. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I've got the bucket of rodents there. See, we'll try to do this all in one sort of shot. There's a mouse. Where's Severus? Where's Severus? Here's my little Stimson's python. Come on, mate. I'll bring you out so you can have a show off while you're eating. Not sure what his locality is. He's just a beautiful little snake. This was actually my first little python. And he's still here. He's got a good hold there. It's not easy doing this one handed. There we go. Well, a few of the snakes didn't want to eat. Well, that's okay. It's kind of coming into that time of year where they're probably coming up for some seasonal sheds. And well, they won't go to waste. I've got a children's python girl that desperately wants some extra tucker because she's uh, not, not long laid eggs. Come on, darling. So she can take all the food that's, that's spare as far as I'm concerned. I don't mind feeding her up a fair bit. She's putting weight back on really nicely though, so that's good. Her eggs are doing shocking, but you know, she's doing good and that's the main thing. So I might have a couple of extra mice for you and you can plump right back up and be ready for next season. Let's give Loki another little chick. I know he's not going to say no, that's for sure. Slide this open. Hey mate. There you go. Nice catch. Got to replace that light globe above him at the moment. It's been flickering for the well, last couple of hours this morning. So once the lights go out tonight, that'll be getting replaced. Once he's down in his hide box and I've uh, got a little bit more safer access and he's not so food responsive.
There we go. Done and dusted. There's another one down. That should be keeping you entertained for a bit. So next cab's off the rank. We're going to try to feed the rough scale pythons. Unfortunately, they're kind of sitting right next to each other at the moment as well, which does make things a little bit awkward. I will try to get you a bit of good footage of these guys. Hopefully they want to eat. A bit of an odd day here. I was a little bit surprised that not a lot of the snakes wanted to eat. But you know, these things happen. Ooh, there's a strong yes. I'll bring you out there. Get my fingers out of the way. Not sure which one that was. I think they might have been the male. And we got a yes from the other one there too. So that's pretty cool. I'll get you guys off the tripod and get you a bit of, bit of closer. Whoop. There we go. I'm absolutely loving this enclosure and so are these guys. They're, they're doing so well in here. Well, we'll leave these guys be for the time being. I need to keep cracking on. Well, they seem to be pretty happy with themselves. Both got a nice little feed. Big adult mice. And these diamonds are absolutely chomping at the bit. They have not stopped all morning, even prior to the rodents coming out, but now they're just going bonkers. So these guys are desperate for a bit of food. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it with the diamonds today. I've got a couple of small tubs, but Nothing big enough that I'd really want to be putting them in. Um, so I might just kind of wing it. And this is a little bit dangerous. But I might just kind of wing it and see if I can quickly hook them out into tubs. Without them wanting to strike and bite and all the rest of it. This one's tiny, but I reckon one of them will actually fit inside of it. And it's only very temporary, just for a few hours. If that, to be honest. But I just don't want these guys mistaking each other for a snack. Here we go. Alright, who's the smallest? You probably are the smallest. A lot of nice smells around at the moment, especially with all the rats around. Cricket tubs. A little bit dirty, but we'll be right. As I said, it's only for the time being. Get these guys a feed. Sweet. Okay. I know you guys are hungry. Both had a shed. Not long after the, the second feed. Yeah, there you go. There's one of them. Happy as Larry. And we'll get the second one fed. There we go. That'll keep them happy. So while they're eating away, I'm just going to quickly pull a couple of snake skins out of this tank. They've had their little bit of a growth spurt now. Must have had a few cockroaches in there that have decided to eat against the snake skin. Alright. Now we'll see if the big girl, Arrow, Wants a bit of food as well. I'm sure she's not going to say no. Come 
one down. So Arrow, my big diamond python, was feeling a little fussy inside of her enclosure for some reason today. Well, that's alright. I got her out to see if she wanted to, for some reason, eat out in the sunshine and get a little UV while she's out here. Went and put the rat back, and we'll just let it chill out out here anyway. Get a little bit of natural sunlight, a little bit of different smells, a little bit of enrichment, a little bit of muscle activity. It's been a little while since she's been outside. So I'm happy just to sit this, sit down here and enjoy this with her. And hopefully she doesn't mistake me for a rat. One thing Arrow does love doing is when she comes outside, she loves to defecate on the lawn. It must just be the feel of grass or something on the underside. It's usually a good way to get her stimulated and get her to, get her to defecate. So this girl must be going on about 13 years old, or thereabouts, 12 or 13 I think. She's about the 6 or 7 foot mark. She's a decent sized girl. May or may not get some babies out of her this season. I've tried to trim her down a little bit just so she's not quite as thick. You can see that she doesn't have that kind of solid muscle indentation along the spine. She used to have that quite a bit. You can see a little bit of it up through there. But she's definitely slimmed down a little bit. She's nowhere near as thick as what she used to be and sometimes that can actually um, impact them, their chances of breeding as if they're too fat. So, I think she's quite enjoying this. Well, she didn't want to eat for some reason. A little bit unlike her, but that's okay. We'll let her go back inside of her enclosure. I've just taken the opportunity to give it a good clean out, give them some fresh water. The, uh, I think the other two diamonds have just about finished. Well, they have, have essentially finished eating, eating their rats. So they'll go back in there shortly. Oh, I think he knows what's going to happen next. So, for the guanas, I also did something. And I've made them up some little scrambled eggs. That's right, they're getting a cooked brekkie today. I'll put a little bit of paper towel in there for them. Just so the eggs can sit on top of that. I'll see if they want to come and investigate. That should be plenty for the two of you. I'll put a little bit more in because... I need this protein. Oh, scurrying around the place. Come on, what does your little monitor nose smell? You know what's what. All of it? You're taking all of it. What a little pig. Oh well. Oh, here we go. I might get a brawl here. There's plenty to go around. That's why I put a big pile of it in there. That's the female on top, I believe. And chunky male underneath. This will pork these guys up. Gillen's absolutely go nuts for eggs. I 
And you know what? Like, if any of this ends up going to waste, there's enough little life in here, like crickets and roaches and stuff that are running around as food sources, that they'll come and clean this up and it'll give them a good feed, and then these guys will go and clean a few of those up, so... It all goes around. <laughs> There's plenty here. It's always the way they love squabbling over the same bit. There you go. I'm just going to see if by chance little Oakley wants a little bite of this as well. I don't know what the likelihood is here, but we'll find out. He's definitely smelling it. Oh, here we go. Not over bad, hey mate? Oh, it's good to know you like something else other than just bugs. Let's see if we can grab him another little piece. Now, so far I've only ever seen him eat a woody and a cricket and a small mealworm. But that's just something else I can add in to plump him up a little bit. You know, it's not an everyday type thing, but it's just a little bit of a treat, so good to know there's something else that he likes. Our little turtle friend's all done with his claw sig. It's nice and dry. Just gives him an opportunity for that wound to kind of heal up a little bit. Uh, I was pretty lucky that I had this old fish tank just hanging out here. Yeah, you can see he's not too bad. He's pretty good. Sorry mate, don't mean to toss you around. But we'll let him pop back in here. There's some turtle pellets floating around for you as well if you are hungry. If not, the fish will clean those up. <laughs> I think we need to add some more floating plants into this. I grow a lot of my own floating plants here. Oh, there you go. Got tons of this Amazon frog bit. Got a few buckets just kind of hanging around. Now, these are good for frogs and stuff to lay their tadpoles in, to lay their eggs in. That's a whole heap of this is Zola. And this all acts as good turtle food, good fish food. It also provides a little bit of shade to them for when it is a little bit warmer in here. There's tons of duckweed. Oh, that's a thick mat of duckweed. Yeah, take a heap of that out. And duckweed's really high in calcium too, so it's good for them to eat. I'll probably even get away with a bit more duckweed to be honest grows so quick. Oh my gosh. That should keep them nice and shaded on a hot day like this. I have to be very still, very quiet. This little kamikaze is eating a fuzzy mouse. Now, I don't scent them or do anything crazy to them. But she'd be very finicky. If I was to shut this lid right now, she'd probably spew it back out and go, nah, not having it. So once I get a good feed response from her, I just gotta stand here like a statue and let her get it down. And it's all happy days from there. I've even gotta be careful with my movements with my phone to make sure that she doesn't freak out too much, but it looks like we're pretty golden right now. 
can be a little bit painful feeding her. Sometimes it can take up to about half an hour to really get this response from her. I'm really hoping that she kind of takes off and just doesn't care about it anymore, but until then, this is just what I gotta do. I've also got Loki down here finishing off the scrambled eggs because he's a garbage pit. A couple of chickens and then that. You're a big fatty, right? Uh, he's happy as a pig in mud though. Awesome. Well, there's one less snake to feed. There we go, sometimes it just takes a little bit of encouragement. But Wasabi finally wanted to eat. That's fantastic. I'm trying to get this guy to have a little bit of a growth spurt, because as you can see on his back there, just along here, he's just got this patch of stuck shed. I've tried to get it off a couple of times manually already, but I think he just needs to kind of grow it out in a layer. That's awesome. Nice little feed response finally from him. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop it a like, drop it a comment if you've got any questions or anything like that. Make sure to subscribe if you did like what I was up to inside of this video. You know, it's just running around doing a bit of chores, but I don't mind bringing you guys along for that so you can see some cool Aussie reptiles. And if you do like cool Aussie reptiles, make sure to go and check out my link to my Teespring store. So you can get yourself some awesome gecko t-shirts like this and all sorts of other Australian animals. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Try and make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. So y'all, snake eyes on dice for y'all, shoulders on ice for y'all, A6 all